Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more exciting minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Okay. Lost my brush. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is I got all my got all my radius bent. I just kind of had to take my time and go around there. All came out really nice. So for now what I want to do is I haven't got no resin on there yet. I want to get go ahead and put this piece on. This piece of glass on the top. Because I want to be able to pull it off to trim it and not get resin everywhere. Basically. Yeah. I better do the old pour and squeegee method first. That foam gets saturated. We're going to put our peel ply and our bleeder on this, and that'll pull up any excess resin. So don't worry about getting it on too thick. I mean, you don't want it, your glass floating, but you want your uh, foam saturated or your balsa, anything you want to use for this. Them china are, so I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but some of them's got wood in them. The composite arf does the foam. And uh, a few other places I've seen. Man, I missed the last part of that Survivor where Nayanka got in trouble <laughs> from her school. They was trying to fire her. I'm going to have to get on CBS.com see if I can't watch that. Uh, dang, uh, my, you know, my TV was set to record all that Survivor stuff. Me and the Bobo wife went out to dinner last night. Not realizing Survivor was on. I came home and we seen I seen the record light on the DVR. Uh, right away I thought, oh no, Survivor. I knew it was getting close to the end. So I missed part of it. So I was just watching it from the recording, you know. And it wasn't done recording yet. But I guess one of the football games delayed it or something. Because it shut off, the DVR shut off about with about 10, 15 minutes of the show to go. Because its original airtime was over. So, we gotta get on CBS.com. Someone else was asking me, how do you start a project like this? What's the first thing you do? Man, you go get a plastic model. If you can get plans and that's how you scratch built before, get some plans. You know, you can get plans on the line if you want, you know, and make your plug like that if you want to do it totally from scratch. And use, you know, dad's method, but or cut them up cut your plastic model up and have it enlarged and go that method that's the easiest you buy you a plastic model and you cut that dude up so how far you want your you got to decide how big you want it and And come up with your number, say you want it four times as big. Let's just say you want it four times as big, okay? Well, and you want a bulkhead, say, let's just say every four inches in your plug. So you mark on every one inch on your plastic model, there would be a bulkhead. So every place there's a bulkhead, you make a slice. 
transfer it to paper, take it to Office Max, and have them blow it up four times. It's original size. Bam, you got your bulkheads. Then you go home and you jig it up. Jig up your bulkheads and uh, either sheet it or fill it in between them with foam and Bam, you're in business. But there's a lot of plans out there for these jets or planes. You know, Nick Zeroli has a nice plan selection. You know, and all your engineering has been done. But if you want to do it like us and do your own engineering and that's how you do it. I don't believe no one's ever made plans for a Thunder Chief anyway. And I like doing planes that ain't out there. You know? Shoot, I can't build an F-18 Hornet for what I can uh, buy one from China for, you know? So if you want something like a 105, you just got to do it yourself. You see, and while we're doing the rest, we're actually giving this resin time to soak into that foam and give it time to do its thing. If there's any dry spots, hit them again. You can tell where it's really sticking to the foam, where it's bright pink. smooth it out. You just don't want to press real hard and try and scrape it down too thin. You know, we want a good bond. We'll put some resin on here and go over it all again.